First of all, that's not where the sign is. Use where the research desires to control variation in the experiment that is related to row and columns in the file. Yes, this is from the book. I know reading the same thing in the book will not help you out. That is why you are seeing this video. I'm not right. Latin square design is one of many tools in statics have. This tool is used when it's decided to control. Like an experiment, you will see the results effects that the experiment is having and some of the effects that you did not figure out by yourself. What Latin square designs do is put everything in order to see which result is the best. Let's say you have a car that needs maintenance and you have four different mechanics that you go to repair your car like you have four different mechanics to repair your, your car because two of them or one can be more closer to your location two or one can of them can be more patient for me i will want someone that can speak my home language that is spanish we can see in that each mechanic is their own square because we have four different mechanics with each mechanic are different in their own unique way let's say that one of them is the most economic one and the other is the closest one and the other is the more faster and the other is more time with their customer in the other file we have to compare the four mechanics to each different problem the, the first group of four have to compare and calculate the price of each one of them the second group of four needs to find out which one is the closest one the third group of four needs to find out which one finished the fastest the full group of four needs to find out which one treats their customer better. Latin square is a table filled with n multiplied by n different symbols in such a way that each symbol occurs exactly once in each row and exactly once in each column and exactly once in each uh, diagonal. Latin square designs helps a lot in the experiment of an engineer because this table are organized and can help us see so many factors. For me, I think using these tables help us be more organized and have everything in order. The graph gives a better view of each problem and in variance. Without this table, all the factors would get confusing and this problem will never be solved. We could never find a solution. Thank you very much for listening to me and have some patience with my English and thank you.